Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Barney Homestead. We are in the kitchen this morning. Well, I'm in the kitchen this morning, and I wanted to share with you a quick and simple breakfast recipe that honestly is my go-to in the spring and the fall when the arugula is in season in the garden. It's three simple ingredients. It couldn't be more easy. It's sourdough bread. This is homemade sourdough bread. Feel free to use store-bought, any bread that you like arugula, a good old handful of arugula, and two eggs. I'm gonna toast up the bread, I'm gonna top it with the arugula, and then an over easy egg on top. It is one of my favorites, it's super simple, it can be made in less than 10 minutes, it's packed with protein, fiber, you've got some fermentation from the sourdough bread, so all around, it's just an amazing meal. So let's go ahead and get started. What's even better is it is a one skillet meal. So I'm gonna be using my cast iron skillet, which I've got preheating on the stove. It's preheating on medium low heat, and I'm gonna use that to toast the bread and then fry the eggs, and that's really all you need. It couldn't be more simple, like I said. To toast the bread, I'm gonna to just toss it into the cast iron pan. I'm not adding any butter or oil or anything. I am just using the natural seasoning from the cast iron and the heat from the cast iron to toast this sourdough. Now, as we're in the kitchen today, you'll see behind me, my countertops are pretty full. My sink, I've already done a load of dishes this morning, and this is the reality. This is a working kitchen. My husband and I work full time, 40 to 50 hours a week. Even with that, it's really important to me to make as many meals from my home as possible. So I would say that during a week between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'm cooking about 80, 75 to 80% of our meals. And when you cook that much, your kitchen just never looks perfect. So that's why you see a lot of stuff on the counter. I use my kitchen a ton. I think that we live in a world where convenience has become the all too popular option. And I don't think we really understand where our food comes from, or quite frankly, what real food tastes like anymore. And cooking is also something that brings me a ton of joy. But when I share with people in my life that I cook so much, they kind of just seem bewildered. Like, where do you find the time to do all that? And for me, I definitely love to do the four to five hour meals. Let's say the Julia Child meals where I'm in the kitchen all day. That's usually reserved for the weekend. Um, during the week when I'm limited on time, my meals are gonna be 10 to 30 minutes, um, either for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So it's quick, it's simple, sometimes it's even meal prepping. I wanna show people that you can cook nourishing, simple, but delicious food at home, and it doesn't have to take you hours. It can be as simple as 10 minutes. So let's check on how the sourdough's doing. All right, so I think we're about toasted on the first side. Oh yeah, look, that perfectly golden brown toast gonna flip it and leave it for probably another minute, minute and a half on this side. All right, and I think we're about good on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the pan. Now we're gonna work on our eggs. Now for the eggs, I am gonna add just a little bit of oil to the cast iron pan. Maybe about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. You don't need much. This is just regular EVOO, extra virgin olive oil and I am going to swirl it around in the pan to coat the entire bottom. It's gonna heat up pretty quickly, and when I've given the oil a chance to heat up a little bit, I am on low heat at this point. Cast iron retains its heat really, really well, so once you get it up to temperature, you can turn the heat all the way down almost, um, especially when you're cooking something like a delicate egg. So I've got my oil in the pan, and I'm gonna go ahead and crack my eggs right in. I'm also gonna season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, while those are cooking behind me, they take about a minute, minute and a half on both sides. 
Um, I like to wait until about all of the white is cooked before I flip it over. And then when I flip it over, I cook it for about 30 seconds. I will turn off the heat and let the heat from the cast iron just finish cooking it over. That gives you still the perfectly runny egg to put on top of your bread and arugula. Now, I am not a trained chef. I have never gone to cooking school. I've taken a few cooking classes over the span of my lifetime, but for the most part, I am self-taught. My father did cook growing up. Um, occasionally, I would say maybe two to three nights a week, and I definitely picked some things up over the years, but honestly, I'm pretty much all self-taught, which again, I think is why I like to keep things simple. If you're intimidated in the kitchen, I think that's totally normal. I think, again, cooking is kind of, you know, a lost art in many households. But what I would say is just start, just start trying it. There are so many free resources and places on YouTube, on Instagram, on all of that. Um, and you can also find a lot of times through your uh, local park district or even some other facilities that might be offered in the county that you live in. You can find cooking classes, cooking demonstrations. So if you wanna get better in the kitchen, all it is is practice. And the more you do it, the better you're gonna get at understanding how flavors combine um, and you know how you can create quick and simple meals. So let's go ahead and take the eggs out of the pan and assemble the rest of this breakfast. We are going to pile the arugula on because like I said, this is my favorite part of this entire dish. We will top each with an egg. Now, how good does that look? Fresh homemade sourdough, garden grown arugula, topped with a beautiful over easy egg. Let's check the egg and see how it looks. Oh yes, look at that beautiful, Still runny egg. The perfect, perfect bite. Sometimes I even like to top this with a little bit of hot sauce. That's another way to kind of jazz it up. But let's go ahead and dive in. Mm. This is the first time. I'm gonna talk with my mouth full because it's just that good. This is the first time that I've been able to have the arugula from the garden this fall. If you've never tried arugula, put it on your grow list. It's so good. It's a little bit of a thicker leaf, but it's not tough. It has this beautiful kind of spicy flavor to it, but it's still really crisp and bright. When you pair that with the soft egg, and the warmth from the egg, and then you get that crispy bit from the sourdough, and that sourdough flavor aroma as you're biting in. Guys, this is unlike anything you will have at home for breakfast, trust me. Give it a try, put it on your must make list. You can grow this your own, you can make your own bread. You can also simply find all of these ingredients at your store, but definitely, definitely give this a try. All right, guys, well, I am gonna go and enjoy the rest of this sourdough, arugula, and egg breakfast sandwich, and I'm gonna catch you in my next video. If you wanna know more or see more cooking demonstrations as it relates to breakfast, lunch, or dinner ideas, or you'd like to know more even about cast iron cooking, leave me comments down below. Would love to hear what you wanna see, and I'd be happy to share it. And if you give this recipe a try, let me know in the comments down below. Would love to know what you think about it, too. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen this morning and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.